These are the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. Gank as this crash comes through, but the light and Peanut are both in the area. You also know that obviously with the ultimate or of the portal, it's going to be really easy to come through as we do have a uh, Zekka harassing a little bit here. Yeah, this is kind of risky because it feels like Carrier went top to cover Zeus because obviously HLE are leaning top for the Groves, but now Zekka uh, he's going in there. Pest. He's 1v3. He's like, no, I've got mom. And he's just going to push them off. He buys enough time. And now Hava Life Esports rotate over. And they're going to get both as, yep, there's the Smite. They take down the Drake. And Hava Life Esports enjoy both objectives. So, and if owner is six, then Zekka can't be that far up. Doesn't have cleanse, would only be able to flash. But without a, uh, an ultimate available, there's not all you can do is peanut. Yep, hex flashing in. And uh, actually, just going to real flash on top of Faker here. And that is going to be Faker in a ton of trouble. Owner does make his way over. But that's first blood. Give it over to the Smolder in the mid lane. Meanwhile, at top, Dorian going to force a flash. He does trade but takes the win in this 1v1. It just says, well, just flash. I mean, just a level 5 bard. I'm not really that threatening. Here is a dive on the top lane. Doran is going to get flashed on by Karia, and a bunch of damage goes into this Jax as Zeus will take him down, and they do get revenge for him. Getting the full 6. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty interesting that T1 just really they don't have much presence on these grubs. I mean, they're, they're fighting to get one at this point in time, maybe two. Uh, with their Caitlyn Ziggs combo, and they, they should be able to get two unless Humble Life Esports have a big plan invested here. Doran does have his TP available, so he can join, but it looks like Humble Life. Oh! He now had Smite, and he's going to take number five, so that's there it five is. grubs TP. for the set of Humble Life Esports. Here's the TP, as you mentioned, getting right into that backline. The Ziggs, Goomba, he's all alone. Down he will go. And that's a bonus kill as well for Humble Life Esports on top of everything else. And you gotta ask, was it worth it? You know, you got the one grub, but um, giving up so much pressure there. Carrier. He'll execute on this. Yeah, he avoided this damage. I, I'm just now noticing as well that Delight is playing Carrier skin, because that was a T1 <laughs> uh, Bard <laughs> ultimate that I saw there. So. Cross map opportunity as Guma is Ziggs, but doesn't have his ultimate right now. Oh boy. I mean, there, there's no TPs. He's alone. There's three people here for Hamale V Sports. There's just no way for Guma to get out of this situation as Peanut and Delight set up yet another kill. And yes, T1 will get the dragon. But Hamale V Sports really snowballing their lead. And that's the window of Carrier not being on the map. You see Hamale Life get the people where they need to be. And Peanut on the poppy again, finding an opening. And you know, HLE already have a dragon, so they're willing to give up the second one and focus on getting. Oh. Gold Infernal onto soul. this gin. Infernal oh, Soul, yeah, they you know. Two dragons, actually. Power trough, but particularly if you go on IE first, that is not going to feel super rewarding until. Well, either you get lucky and get a crit, or until you've got some more items to back it, it up. It is the old build, right? <laughs> like way back in the day, the Caitlyn just, you know, just go IE, and then eventually. Uh, you do matter, so maybe Faker digging into those uh, old memories. In terms of their map impacts, it feels like they're the team with the Ziggs, when obviously they don't have Ziggs, uh, but they are just taking all the turrets. They're taking the entire map at this point in time, and they get the first top one, they get this inner one immediately with double demolish, it looks like, coming in there, as well as the Rift Herald. Huge value with all the objectives they're getting. Already a counter punch for T1. They're gonna get a turret. I don't even think Zayus can really get a lot of damage down. Fantastic yeah. about just running straight at the objective and saying, okay, well, Sejuani can't do anything, Leona can't do anything. How are you going to engage? But now it's actually Hummel Life Esports that engage onto the Leona themselves. Generally not a good idea, but they will force the flash of Peria. And now the Jin ult is coming out, just trying to zone them away. T1 thinking about getting on in here, but Peanut just going to launch Owner into the sky. And that is going to be the Infernal Drake already in the hands of Hummel Life. Flash on in from Pina, looking for more, but he's going to take a ton of damage. He goes Carrier, though. He is extremely low. And now we've got Doran on the flank. Zeus does not have Meganar, and Zeta is just farming the stacks right now. As it's a very broken up fight, nobody is going to die yet. And now Doran in a bit of trouble. He's got to flash away. And just barely is going to walk this one off. Then it would have been fantastic, but even though they made some mistakes, they didn't get punished as much as they could. Speaking of punished, this is... <laughs> Very weird, the setup. Delight in a bit of trouble. He's just trying to walk this one off. He doesn't have flash. There is a magical tourney, but now we got TP. Going. Is, he wants this, but he's just going to get stunned up against the wall. And flash on in. The ace in the hole. Delight, he's got a shield. Here comes the rest of the team. His owner going to throw it all, and they finally 
finally take out the lights. That's a lot invested though, just to kill the Bard. If they don't turn this into something else, I don't think that's necessarily worth, because Doran, on the other end of the map, getting a turret. Damage available there, you know, a lot of burst. Even the uh -oh. Caitlyn as well. Doran stepping on a trap, and he uh, nearly dies. He's gonna be forced out of this one, and he just TP'd in the mid. So now he doesn't exist, and T1 have their sights on something here. Maybe the Baron gonna oh! throw it off, and he's gonna hit him! Doran! They can't let him near the pit. No Jinnel for Viper, and he's super low. This is so hard to contest. The zone control. I don't know if they're going to be able to do anything about this. I mean, it's a very early Baron, but yeah, how might Esports say, okay, we just have to take mid tier one, and that's about it. Maybe to get the dragon, but T1 will get this Baron off the map. There it goes. And now they're going to be running towards the dragon and looking to fight again. Oh, I don't know if they'll be in time. This is going down quick. They're going to ult carry oh! away, but he comes back from the sky, and now he's trying to get something going here, as it is going to be the fight and the magical journey out. Hamalai Esports, they do get this one, and now they're going to turn as Karia is going in. He wants to open this fight, but Peanut is just providing the door, and Delight, thinking about the disengage, not sure if they want to continue on this one, but the Smolder is online. The executions are beginning as Hamalai Esports are running T1 away from this one. T1, you just got a Baron, but they overchase, and Hamalai Esports will punish them. What lane tier two? I mean, Zeus is trying his best. There's the lockdown, though, onto Faker. He's in a lot of trouble, and now they're going to knock away Honor. There's no protection for the Caitlyn. Down will go. Uh, Baker here in the front line. Peanut thinking about continuing on this one. Here comes the flash, the slow on Takuma, who does have his flash, but still trying to continue on this one. Big solar flare, and now Meganar coming on in, but the Sterix is gone, and they're just going to give him up. Down will go Zeus, and that is another kill here. A shutdown to Smolder, and another engage comes in from Peanut. And how about another one? They're looking for Karia as well, as he will be taken down. It is a very long lane fight, but it is four kills to Hamalai Esports. And they could be looking towards the end. Faker's gonna be up in 15, but I don't know if he alone is enough. Wave Glare, five members still here for Hanwalai. And it looks like game number one, everything going as expected. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be rough. We'll see if Hanwalai Esports actually do push for the end. It looks like they're kind of backing off of the inhibitor for now, so they'll just take the free inhibitor after that big fight and back away and take the entire jungle. We are about to head into a must-win fight for T1 because Humble Life, if they can get this soul, it's uh, over. Trying to take out Delight. He is going to be caught. They get him. And they use a lot of their CC to take him down. But and they're still very far ahead. So it looks like they want to just fight for this one. Doran just jumping on in. Doesn't even care. It's a 4v4 right now as the TP from Zeus is late and the execution will come in. And look at the damage right now from the side of Hama Life. They take down two and Zeus can't even kill a measly Jin in the back line by himself. It's a totally broken up fight, and that will absolutely favor Hamalai Esports. As you know, the last fight was very one-sided. This one, even more so. And it was uh, eventually a 4v5. His owner will go down, and it should be Infernal Soul or just the game win to the side of Hamalai Esports. How much you can do in this situation? Owner trying to survive as long as he can, but the rest of the team are heading over to try and end the game. And this that is, is going to do it. This yeah. is going to be the end of game one. I mean, it's 15 to 4. It is a very one sided start to this one. And there's not much else you can say. Some interesting picks from T1, but at the end of the day, it's good old reliable Smolder. And uh, the Poppy as well from Peanut to get the job done as very dominant game one win here to the side of Hamble AB Sports to start off this best of five. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.